Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Biostar motherboard. This is the Biostar TH61 ITX. It is a ITX or mini ITX motherboard as uh, you might see right there. That means it's just 6.7 inches by 6.7 inches. Very, very small. Also, it has the H61 chipset, which is kind of like the little brother of the H67 chipset. More on that later. And it supports Intel second generation core i3, i5, and i7 processors, aka Sandy Bridge. And I should also mention that Sandy Bridge processors have the 1155 socket. So that's what this motherboard has, is the 1155 socket. Uh, in the box, you get the motherboard instruction manual and guide for installation and whatnot. You also get a driver and utilities disc. It's best to head over to the Biostar website to download the latest drivers for this motherboard, but keep the disc on hand while you're doing your build just in case. You also get a couple serial ATA cables, and you get a motherboard input-output shield for the back of your case for the motherboard inputs and outputs. Next, we're gonna go over the board in detail, but real quick, I wanted to show you guys, this is actually that uh, manual that I showed you, and it actually folds out and it's full color, and they give you pictures, for instance, of CPU installation, memory, installation, power connection, even clearing the CMOS right there. Uh, so nice to have full color pictures, and then on the back, they have an entire layout of the board right there with all of your connectors clearly indicated, so I'm totally gonna use that as a cheat sheet over here and uh, while I go over the board. But let's see if I can just do most of it from memory, shall we? Uh, let's start off with a full look at the board itself. Again, mini ITX, so very small. Uh, great for a small footprint computer, shoebox computer, home theater PC type application. Uh, but first off, some fan headers. We have a three pin header there for a case fan. We also have your four pin CPU fan header. Uh, let's go over here to the, well, Actually, let's, let's mention here on the bottom first, we have a full-length PCI Express 16-speed slot, so you can add a discrete graphics card there. The H61 chipset will also give you the ability to make use of uh, the integrated GPU in your Sandy Bridge processor, uh, but you have the option to go with either one. Next up, we have our memory slots over here. This is DDR3 memory. It is dual-channel. It supports up to 8 gigabyte DIMMs, as well as, and let me use my cheat sheet, we have DDR3 speeds of 1066 and 1333 uh, available there. Up here at the top, you have most of your front panel connectors, starting off with uh, these front panel connectors, which are uh, labeled in that guide that I showed you. Uh, right below that, you have a USB 2.0 front panel header. Next to that, you have your four serial ATA revision 2 3 gigabit per second ports. And that is one of the limitations of the H61 chipset versus H67 is you don't get any SATA 3. Uh, but for most applications that you might be using this motherboard with, SATA 2 is going to be just fine. So you get four of those, they're all right there. Uh, below that you could probably see that, that's an infrared header. Uh, next to that you have a 20 pin uh, front panel USB 3.0 connector, so two USB 3.0 ports available through that. Next to that is uh, your CMOS, clear CMOS pinouts. Uh, you'll also have a 24-pin standard um, motherboard power connector right there. Right, this is, right here is the passive heatsink for your H61 chipset. Um, moving along, actually not much to see over on this side, but down here, of course, is your 1155 socket. Make sure you keep that uh, little panel there in case you ever need to return the board. That's where your CPU goes. And then right down here is a 4-pin uh, ATX power connector for supplemental CPU power. And uh, did I get everything? Oh, almost forgot. Right down there, the little red header right there is for your front panel audio for mic and headphone. And finally, let's move on to the inputs and outputs on the back. Starting over here on the left, we have a couple USB 2.0 ports, a couple more USB 2.0 ports right there. We have a PS2 port for a mouse or a keyboard. Uh, we have a couple USB 3.0 ports, so four total available on this board, two right there, and then two more via the uh, internal header that I showed you. You have a, a Realtek uh, gigabit LAN port right there. It's, that's an RTL 8111E chip that controls that. You have HDMI out, uh, analog, VGA out, and DVI out. And uh, those are for use with your integrated GPU and your Sandy Bridge CPU. So if you're going to go with that, you'll be using those outputs. Finally, you have your audio outs right there. And this does support 5.1 channel audio out. And you also have an optical Toslink cable out. Put right there. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Biostar TH61 ITX 
Mini ITX motherboard, uh, which features the H61 chipset, the 1155 socket for Intel second generation Core i3, i5, and i7 processors, and of course the Mini ITX form factor for very small computers. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.